Cher public, je voudrais vous signaler simplement que vous pouvez, si vous le souhaitez, retrouver les commentaires en direct de ce match sur la radio FM du club. Well, hello to everybody. Welcome to our coverage of the first day of the competition. It may be an overused phrase, but uh, everyone really does start out equal on this day. Stature and reputation and history, all irrelevant, albeit momentarily. This is the game. Everybody, no matter who they support, can be just a little bit hopeful about. Maybe it's their turn. Just maybe. One glance and you know where we are. It is one of the most recognisable arenas for the beautiful game in the world. And boy, does it add to the occasion. This is the lineup we've been given. How do you read it, Jim? I think it gets a, a terrible raw deal these days. It's deemed old-fashioned, outdated, but in truth, with the, the right personnel, it works just as well as, as any other system or formation success can still be had with it and teams are still winning big trophies with exactly this setup there's the whistle and here we go Jim who do you pick out as the telling individual today yeah Kevin De goes in for the header Listen, the big names earn their reputations for precisely the reason we've just seen. They have a habit of making their presence felt, and here we are, early stages. He struck wood, and he looks hungry for more. Great header, they didn't look easy. I just thought he wanted that more than anyone else on the pitch. He was fully deserved, he gave it everything he had. Big occasion, big goal, crucial lead. Oh, look, this is just what the fans wanted. And now that they're celebrating the opener, I think they'll want to see their team make all the running from here. And it's Messi. Now it's Berati. Messi. He's got the shot away! They've scored! Not one. But two, it is a dream start. As simple as you like, the outcome utterly inevitable. Yeah, I really can't say enough as to how good the final ball was. It took the defence out of the equation for that split moment, and the damage was all done. The new level count. starting to look very comfortable well it's been a, an absolutely fabulous spell for them and they're starting to look unstoppable there could be more on the way it's run loose here Danilo Pereira Carlos Soler Hakimi now it's Messi now it's Mbappe and it's Danilo Pereira
Stokes. Paris Saint-Germain look comfortable already. Two to the good and flying. Chance to break. Lovely. Now the finish! And it's there! Hot knife through butter. They have done it again. Yeah, the right touch in moments like that is key to what follows. Oh, very neat and tidy. Three without reply. This is becoming a stroll. Well, they're very much the better team at the moment, Peter, and, and no doubt will be looking to, to cause even more damage here. Verratti. Stones gets across to intercept that. João Cancelo. Wriggles his way through. And it's Cancelo. He's found a way through. Look, it's a, it's a run defence is dislike, but the timing has to be spot on. Gundogan. Marco Verratti. Well, that's been cut out, well played. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. Foden. So what can they make of this? He's shifting through the gears here. Sergio Ramos did well to emerge with the ball. That's a contest to keep an eye on. Now it's Messi. And this is Messi. There's the hit! Messi looking sharp there. Loose pass, and they could be in. De Bruyne. Showing great feet there. Haaland. Challenged just a bit on the firm side. Lovely ball into space. He's played him through. Messi is the guilty party there. And the referee has shown him a yellow card. Bernardo Silva. He's a sharp little ball here. Walker spots it and intercepts. Well, that's surely a foul free kick. Just a talking to, I think. Yes, it is. Okay. Oh, Gundogan. Haaland. Carlos Soler. And it's Verratti. Coming up to half time, leading, and things are looking pretty good. Stones. Carlos Soler, Messi already with two goals under his belt. Passing is crisp and sharp. 
No, the ball needed to be better there. It's a wasted chance. Jao Cancelo. Temps additionnel, une minute. Carlos Soler. And now the breakaway. Poor pass that, sloppy. And there is the half-time whistle. Well, there's plenty that can be said about the last 45 minutes, but one thing that cannot be said is that it's dull. One-sided, yes, but packed with excitement. Peter, do I really need to say anything, or can I simply refer you to the scoreline? Paris Saint-Germain, 3-0 up at the break, precisely as they would have dreamt it. Merci à tous d'accueillir nos joueurs. That gets things going for the second half. And it's to Bruyne. Foden, good spot, he's seen the run. De Bruyne gets flagged offside. <laughs> Kyle Walker. João Cancelo. Gundogan, Hakimi cuts it out, Mbappe looking for the runner, Ake, and it's Gundogan, he's left his man, out to the left it goes, oh that's such a good run, more of that please. Cross deflected over the goal line for a corner. And it's been taken short. Paris Saint-Germain can counter properly here. Someone looks like he's in need of protection here. Yeah, it very much looks like this defence has, has learned from its errors now. Messi was alert to the possibilities, but in the end it's fruitless. He ran himself into trouble there, free kick given away. And he's away. Now then, the ball's come loose. Haaland, room for it, and the shot! Taken with style. Really outwitted one on one. Once more, he gets the better of the keeper. Well, was there ever any doubt? It made it look like he's done it over and over and over again. And 
Yes. So is this the start of a comeback? Mbappe, chance to finish. That's a fine save. Mbappe really must have felt he has a measure of the keeper then, but how wrong he was. Le nombre de spectateurs pour ce match, 71,649. He's had a fair tumble under that challenge. Nice little ball through. Into the pot. It's Neymar! A real chance and a real let-off. Well, he did get himself into a good position. Something for him to cling to. Time for a change in personnel. Messi. Le numéro 6. Le numéro 28. Have a shot. Le numéro 15. It's off target and by quite a way. It was more possible than probable and the outcome backed it up, Peter. Well, there is some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's got to be a change. Yeah, I think he's been told to play that role of, of the tactical pivot, spraying the ball about sometimes, driving it forward from the middle of the park. Fabian Ruiz. Sarabia. Changement. Has a goal! A collective sigh of relief from the defence. Fabian Ruiz with the short one. Renato Sanchez. And now they can spring out of defense. Grealish. They're back in possession and ready to go again. Gundogan, good strong midfield running here. Fiddles it through. Now they can break here. Mbappe. He's had a hit. I think that's offside. Yes, it is. A couple of changes then in quick succession. Well, he can certainly make his side a lot more unpredictable, Jean Peter. You know, he has a very good eye for a pass and, and a tricky one at that. Oh, that's well spotted. Good pressure. No shortage of purpose here. Mbappe. Oh, it's Fabian Ruiz. Now this could be a chance. Renato Sanchez showed plenty of zest in getting to the ball, but couldn't quite sort it out. Played out to the left flank. And that has left him in a heap. Greenish has been caught there. It's a foul. Attention. Changement. Fabian Ruiz. Now it's Mbappe.
Mbappe. Mares. Excellent challenge there, uncompromising. And the shot! Oh, just lacked a decent finish. Well, that's why we all say indecision is fatal. It's Bernardo Silva. Gundogan, who set up one goal so far. Sergio Ramos. Now Fabian Ruiz. Now it's Mbappe. And the danger is cut out. And they can counter here. Well, that tackle was certainly sturdy. Il y aura quatre minutes de temps additionnel. And that's left him on the seat of his pants. Well, they're looking at the referee, but he's waved play on. Walker cuts out the pass. Stokes. Mbappe. Renato Sanchez! Good run, lovely take, but that is where it stops. It's easy to say it, but difficult to stop it when runs in behind her are being made like that. And that's it. They needed to win, and they have won. It is a triumph. What are your thoughts on today's game, then, Jim? From the manager's perspective, Peter, I don't think he could have asked for much more. Well, certainly, result-wise, this is a game they wanted to win for so many reasons, and his players did a sterling job carrying out the instructions. Thoroughly enjoyable. And all that remains for me is to thank Jim Beglin. That's it from us tonight. A very good evening to one and all.
Mesdames et messieurs, je vous demanderai de déposer vos détritus dans les poubelles situées dans les accès principaux. D'avance, merci. Well, hello and welcome for the first time this season to everybody around the world and we have for you a clash of two teams with very similar intentions. A statement win at the expense of the other would be the ideal scenario for both. A flying start is certainly required. So what a stage for the players to take to here ahead of such an important game. Voici maintenant la composition de l'équipe du Paris Saint-Germain. Le numéro 4. Yeah, Kylian Mbappé. There's nothing more frightening for a defender when he's running at you at full speed. He gets into a stride so quickly and seems to just glide across the turf. But when the goal's in front of him, he's also got that cool head that's required to, to pick a spot and finish everything off. I think the opposition defence agreed too. He's going to be the source of so many of their headaches. Galeno. Uh, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. It's Tadami! Link with his head, but couldn't steer it in. No, he's taken off it, that's really well played. Steered out wide, but he won't reach that one. Gruic. João Mario. Played for Grijic. Fabio Cardozo. And it's Marcano. All played for Galeno. Uribe. Chooses to go cross field. Out to the left it goes. He's in plenty of space here. A oh, well played. He's taken that really cleanly. Danilo Pereira. Mbappe. Now it's Messi. Up to meet it! Goal! Paris Saint-Germain! What a great header. Got plenty on that. Oh, look, it's, it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header, and if you get it slightly wrong, then you'll struggle, but that was beautifully met. It really was. Après 14 minutes de jeu. Le numéro 7.
big occasion, big goal, crucial lead. Well, that goal has got the whole stadium rocking here. This is exactly the kind of atmosphere the players should feed off now. Nice bit of trickery. Plays a sharp little ball here. Well, the counter could be on here. Fabio Cardoso gets across to intercept that. Showing great feet there. Ottavio. He's onside. Oh, that's a very decent ball now. Oh, great defending. That needed doing. And it's Neymar. Uh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Yeah, the idea was right. The delivery wasn't. They can revisit that further on. It's one through. Now it's Karemi. Big now the finish! And it's in! And the lead lost no time at all! Yeah, and analysis of the goal should take a back seat to the importance of a, a committed reaction. This is wonderful to watch. The understanding between those two plays a big part in that, and releasing the run on side proved the key ingredient. Le numéro 9. And that has added a whole new complexion to the game. Well, there's resilience for you, Peter. As a side, they never lost focus despite the setback, and this is thoroughly merited for me. Now they can go on better, possibly. Galeno. Gets his pass away. He's through, now is he in? Tadimi! That's a fine save! Oh, that's a sparkling save, absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra-sharp. Joao Mario and back to the goalkeeper hoisted upfield by the keeper Gruich in with the challenge Wendell all played for Galeno Gruich. Oh, good spread. Carlos Soler. Messi. It's a pretty loose pass. Oh, good ball. Messi is onto this. And that interception was most necessary. Really has the confidence and skill to be able to hold the ball up like that until support arrives a little sooner. And just maybe there he overdid it slightly and should have released it because the support was arriving quickly. He's left his man. Can he finish? And he comes up trumps again. <laughs> Massive leap! He's missed, but not by that far. A more than decent attempt, Peter. Now 
Now, who's going to be first to this? And the first 45 minutes are up. So, a very watchable game so far. Action at both ends and the team's level. So both teams heading off for the break, an interesting game has brewed up here, hoping perhaps for a little bit more from both parties in the second half, but the score at half-time is 1-1. Second period then underway. Octavio. Now it's Bridge. Nice little ball through. Oh, he's found support out wide. And that should be the keepers. Marcano makes the interception. Wendell. Galeno. Uribe fiddles it through oh, played through for the white man Porto have it back and they can go again Wendell just loves to go forward whenever he can Messi he's got away back with it goes oh! Dependability is one thing, and he brings that to his game. But that sort of dynamism is another attribute he's blessed with, and it's revealed on a regular basis too. Superb. Well, that always looked the likely outcome. Well, he makes finishing look like a matter of fact. Why take extra touches? Paris Saint-Germain get themselves into the lead. Great defending, strong and determined. Danilo Pereira. Talk about singling someone out. Well, the quicker you cut out the service, the sooner you isolate his threat. Gets himself into trouble and he's lost it. He is through here. Well, he's certainly caught him there. It's a free kick. Well, it's good stuff. This is better. They're coming again and again. Well, the question now is whether they can sustain it. Well time, excellent interception. Oh, it's a nice idea, but the execution was lacking. Now it's Carlos Soler. And it's Messi. Porto can counter properly here. Oh, what a mistake! Gruich. Ottavio. Verratti. Messi.
Galeno. No surprise at all that this is the guy who's had such a positive impact. Well, having that sort of player in your side is reassuring because the rest of the team knows he can make his influence count at any stage. It's simply part of his chance! And yes, it's there! They've done it again! It is incredible! He won't get many simpler than that, but he's certainly not complaining. Oh, look, there's only one player who merits all the praise for that. Not only did he finish it, but his instincts for being where he was are absolutely top-notch. Porto can make their change now with uh, a break in play. This is quite a battle. It's pulsating, it's absorbing, and it's hugely entertaining. Every single player is giving everything. Couldn't quite squeeze that one through. Move forward and quickly so. Past that, sloppy. Gruic. Now it's Gruic. Oh, he's managed to pinch it off him. Neymar. Mbappe. Knocks it away. Paris Saint-Germain showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. Good read, needed to be. Uribe. Yeah, that does look a foul. Referee's given a free kick. Well, you might think he got off lightly. It is just a verbal warning. Could be a costly miss. Uribe fully appreciates that he could have won it then, and now he'll be all the keener not to lose it. Octavio spread out to the left Galeno Taremi deftly done nice interception his positioning was spot on he played for Bruno Costa oh, the less said about that pass the better well both sides might have to settle for a draw here although there's still a chance for one last fling tries a shot oh, that wasn't far away i actually like to see that in shots at goal when there's a, a noticeable effort to get over the ball and, and keep it down
Octavio. He's found a way through. Trying to find some space for the shot. And the shot! Yes! He's done it! And that may just do it! That looks like a preconceived plan. Win the ball and then unleash. But for the team of Porto. The number 9. Porto complete their comeback and now they only need to hold out for a few minutes. Well look Peter, I feel I've got a has a goal! Oh, that was no routine save. He's definitely living up to the occasion here. He just loves being out there amongst it. Have their second corner now. Fabio Cardoso with the clearance. It's a pretty loose pass. And there goes the final whistle. So that is it, the end of the road. How would you summarise what we've seen today then, Jim? Well, what can I say, Peter? It seemed like the enormity of the task got the better of the players. And they never really got going. I, I know it can happen to even the best of us, but that doesn't take away from the fact that this was... Mesdames et messieurs, je voudrais vous rappeler de ne fumer que dans les zones indiquées sur le plan principal. Je vous remercie.
Well, hello and welcome for the first time this season to everybody around the world. And we have for you a clash of two teams with very similar intentions. A statement win at the expense of the other would be the ideal scenario for both. A flying start is certainly required. Certainly this is a very, very impressive venue. Quite a sight to behold. Two new played in games of this nature, who could make the difference? Yeah, Kylian Mbappe. There's nothing more frightening for a defender when he's running at you at full speed. He gets into a stride so quickly and seems to just glide across the turf. But when the goal's in front of him, he's also got that cool head that's required to, to pick a spot and finish everything off. Hard to disagree with that. It is the sort of situation he thrives in. So we're up and running. Carlos Soler. Van Aken. Now who's going to be first to this? Well, that is one way to stop him. Counter could be on here. Mbappe couldn't quite squeeze that one through. Pressing is high and relentless. Lang, he is through here. Oh, he's defended very well against those tricky feet. Moved on forwards. Oh, that's a key interception. Carlos Soler providing an outlet on that flank. Goes in for the header! Oh, just couldn't turn it in. Well, being able to generate that amount of activity in the box means it's hard not to pick someone out. Lang. Oh, he's felt that, hasn't he? That's been cut out, well played. And it's Messi. Lang, he's got away. He's taking on the lot of them. Well, he had a really good run at goal there, but the defence just weren't going to let him past. Now it's Neymar. No, that's been intercepted. Gets his pass away. Mess and Messi! Great build-up. It all deserved a better ending. Messi deserves a lot of credit for his willingness to make those runs. The passers will always have an option with him. And it's Messi. Messi. He's a sharp little ball here. And that's been levered clear. They're back in possession and ready to go again. Picked out Mbappe! Oh, terrific save from the keeper. That'll earn him a few high fives. Probably feels he could have been better protected, though.
tries to get it clear and that's a good ball and he's gone looking for safety Neymar Neymar going face to face with his great rival Paris Saint-Germain clearly are trying to establish themselves as a team that likes to retain the ball, Peter. And it's a good watch, Jim, isn't it? Well, it is. And it's always a pleasure for me to see a team move the ball in silky fashion like this. But you know what's coming next, Peter. It has to be with a mean cutting edge. Lang. Well seen, saw that coming. And it's Neymar. Oh, now here's an interesting matchup. Away from immediate danger. Clears it out of harm's way. Oh, good read. Oh, he's found support out wide. Oh, that was expansive and incisive. The type of move to please any coach. It seems as if he's just had a momentary lapse and, and slipped into tunnel vision because he had good options around him and he failed to get... Oh, it's been intercepted. Gets away from his opponents. There's the hit! It's loose and there's a race for the ball. And the follow-up. A decent effort as the first half draws to a close. Paris Saint-Germain got as close as close can be right on the whistle, but it was not to be. And we are up to the break. What an end to the half, Peter. Uh, a lot of the best action of the half coming at, at the very end. And I get the feeling the second half may well start in, in similar fashion, as we'd love to see this momentum maintained. So I'm looking forward to what's to come. So they head in no further forward. The score here still nil-nil. Souhaitons tous ensemble la bienvenue à nos joueurs sur le terrain. Ah, 
And that's the start of another 45 minutes. No score in the first half. Who's ready to go for it now? Now, and the finish! It's run loose. Who's going to... And again! Big relief. It just needed better contact. Oh, look, I don't want to sound too dismissive, but from here, that looks the harder thing to do. Carlos Soler. Here's Danilo Pereira. Nuno Mendes. Van Aken. The cannon. He's found a way through. Sergio Ramos did well to emerge with the ball. That's a contest to keep an eye on. Now it's Messi. Now it's Berati. Now it's Mbappe. Does well to stand firm and defend it. Some good work on the right flank here. No, the ball needed to be better there. It's a wasted chance. Well, that tackle was certainly sturdy. Climbs up big! No, he couldn't get the direction he needed. Oh, this was all about good movement in the box just to allow him to get to it. And they can counter here. He's left his man. Messi. And he's in on goal. Some terrific running on the ball there. Those efforts are not going unappreciated. And that's been intercepted. And it goes cross field. Gets away from his opponent. He's found a way through. Marco Verratti. It's a pretty loose pass. And he's had a hit. Oh, he's certainly caught him there. It's a free kick. And no surprise, that's a booking. Well, the protest continues, but in the end, they are defending the indefensible. Yeah, well, they were exposed and, and vulnerable, and he knew he had to do something to prevent a goal then. Changement. He's gone for it! It is a fantastic goal! That is a gem! An absolute gem! Well, that was wonderful in every regard. Vision, concept, and considerable accuracy. Well, he made it look effortless. Clearly, a training ground perfectionist. A 1-0 lead established. Look, experienced voices need to be heard now, along with good purpose and urgency and they can get right back into this. Yaremchuk turns and goes back. Neymar looking as though he's being given special treatment here, treatment he could well do without. Well, to be honest, Peter, he has dictated much of the play. Better late than never in, in trying to stop him. The 
there's going to be another change here. Changement cool. Danilo Pereira. Oh, it's a promising build up. There's plenty of really nice passing. Mbappe and the shot oh just lacked a decent finish Paris Saint-Germain certainly look a very capable counter-attacking team they're direct they're quick and to be honest they're full of belief that it'll pay off forward and quickly so robust defending and the ball's been lost they may end up with some regret with this tactic but you have to admire their commitment to goals looking tidy in possession here Paris Saint-Germain really are showing all the necessary urgency but it's potency they need He's shifting through the gears here. Messi. Mbappe. And it's Messi. Poor pass that, sloppy. Into the last five minutes. Paris Saint-Germain are running out of time to save themselves. Ah, oh, he'd have done well to reach that. Bruges can afford to settle on seeing this one out by running down the clock, I think. Nice physical challenge. Il y aura deux minutes de temps Mbappé. Yaremchuk. And that is that. Defeated, dejected, deflated. The Signore e signori, vi ricordiamo che è possibile acquistare il programma dell'incontro odierno dagli stand vicino ai cancelli. Un bel ricordo della giornata. Well, hello and welcome for the first time this season to everybody around the world. And we have for you a clash of two teams with very similar intentions. A statement win at the expense of the other would be the ideal scenario for both. A flying start is certainly required. And this must be amongst the favoured arenas of supporters all over the world. It really does have a very special feel to it. Jim, how are you reading the formation? Well, one of the attacking advantages in this setup, Peter, is the impact that can be made between fullbacks and the attacking wide players. These combinations, when worked well, can be a real handful for any opposition. And we're likely to witness that again. You often see the wide man drift inside to allow the fullback to make the run out wide, and it can just throw the opposition off kilter.
that gets things running. Oh, red, nice interception. Carlos Soler threads one in. He's through, and this looks, and the shot! There it is! Well, once more, it's him, and we can't be surprised because his instinct for doing this is incredible. Well, there's always a chance of being caught like that when you surrender the football. Paris Saint-Germain have made their breakthrough, so can they build on it? Look, I'm sure that silencing the crowd would have been mentioned in the dressing room beforehand, and uh, just listen. No, he's taken off it, that's really well played. Another pass just keeps it ticking over. And that is one way to get his defending done. Attempt, but not quite good enough. Paris Saint Germain, corner number two, then. And that has been cleared. Sambo Anguissa gets good distance on it. Messi gets flagged offside. That's a poor pass, too easily intercepted. And it's Messi. So, third corner of the game. Defending of the desperate variety. Napoli can counter promptly here. It's gone for a throw in. It's Osime. He could be in here. And the defence can get it clear. Lobotka. Oh, he's found some space here. Well, he is the type of character who rises to this sort of challenge, and he will be back for more. Uh, that appeared to be an inevitable outcome. Too much traffic. Elmas! Well, the ball's come loose here. Donnarumma trying to keep this in. Chance! And that was very necessary. Donnarumma deals with it effortlessly. Carlos Soler hops for safety. Mbappe looks to get on the end of this. Sambo Anguissa. He's in plenty of space here. He is through here. It's run loose here. Oh, he's enjoyed that. He evidently loves the contest. Danger is cut out. Mbappe. Di Lorenzo moved on forwards. 
it'll be a throw in. Now it's Elmas. He's got away. Last ditch defending, but that'll do. Gets his pass away. Juan. Now it's Messi. Couldn't quite squeeze that one through. Politano. Well seen. Saw that coming. He's left his man. Played into the middle. Marco Verratti. Now it's Mbappe. And it's Verratti. Mbappe. This might spell big chance. Oh, great save. Real class. Well, you get a sense, Peter, that he could almost get to anything today. So their fourth quarter of the game. And he's there to clear it. And now a sudden chance to counter. Verratti. Carlos Soler. Played out to the right. Politano looking to run onto it. Lobotka, and that interception was most necessary. And it's Messi. Out to the left it goes. And the first half is done. Well, there we are. Off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Well, they showed glimpses of some wonderful football to go in with the lead at half time, and that's definitely pleased the fans. I think they'll be looking to keep this intensity up now in the second half. Paris Saint Germain head into the dressing room, pleased with the thought that they have that all important lead. Analysis to come during the break. Here we go again. Paris Saint-Germain carrying a one-goal lead. Played out to the left flank. Can he finish? It's there. Napoli are back in business. Napoli clearly executed that with considerable confidence. It only took seconds to score once the ball was recovered. Napoli have the equaliser and we're all square. Oh, look, Peter, I was on the fence before a ball was kicked and uh, I still have a moot. Di Lorenzo, Politano. A searching ball that into space. Oh, that's well spotted. He's shifting through the gears here. A hefty challenge, but fair enough. Now it's Messi. Danilo Pereira. Oh, that's a key interception. Osimen. Out to the right. 
You can never be short of runners into space as long as the space left behind is filled. Politano plays it short. Paris Saint-Germain can start a counter here. Politano gets away from his opponent. Now it's Elmas. And that has sent him sprawling. Oh, that's horribly mistimed. And it's given penalty. Paris Saint-Germain faced with a real prospect of letting this slip. The player's protesting furiously, but there's little or no sympathy from the ref. Dipped into a world of focus then and dismissed any distraction. Napoli get themselves into the lead and he has been fouled there. Good defending, albeit from an unexpected source. Ah, he's dealt with that very well, Peter. It's a, a real show of discipline. And here's a chance. And for a moment, time stood still. La fluenza di quest'oggi è di 70.986. Sambo and Kisa. Danilo too strong for his opponent there. And it's Messi. Now it's Mbappe. Meret gets it away, and they're back on the ball again. Lobotka. Oh, he's managed to pinch it off him. And they'll start all over again with the goalkeeper. Mbappe. Can he get onto this? And it's hoisted clear. Nicked it back promptly. And Messi! Paris Saint-Germain showing a little more urgency now. And to be honest, Peter, this is what's required. This is a really front-footed approach. Well, the question now is whether they can sustain it. Lobotka. That's an untidy challenge, free kick given. Sostituzione per il Napoli. Numero 77. Numero 7. Numero 99. Look, it's a, it's a run defense is this like, but the timing has to be spot on. Il numero 91. They've managed to get it away. Il numero 20. Over to the left. He's found the way through. In with the challenge. There's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed. But will they? Now it's Politano. And it's played forward. Now uh, that's been intercepted. Steered out wide, but he won't reach that one. Politano. Now who's going to be first to this? Looking for the runner. They're back in possession and ready to go again. And the finish! Oh, taken with style! Two ahead, late in the day, game over surely. Just so calm under pressure, and he managed to fashion a fine finish. Well, he had to deal with an awful lot of unwanted attention, but his tenacity won the day. And he's done it again, he's got his second. 
Napoli go two up and into a position of real strength. Oh, he's caught him there. It's a free kick. For a moment, you felt that was going somewhere, but they'll have to go again. Politano. Politano making good progress on the right-hand side. Oh, it's come loose. Could try cutting inside here. Takes aim and... Towering header! away it is a good finish the odds were against him little matter Oshiman demonstrated great strength there I mean he really had to hold his man off and just create enough room for him to be able to get the shot away and I think it's just top top play and with that the hat-trick is complete this is frightening football he has increased defensive fear on the way to that hat-trick Napoli grab a three-goal lead. It's just too easy. Well, that's really winded the opposition. You can see their manager screaming on the touchline, telling his team to calm. Added time is up, and there goes the whistle. Paris Saint